you want to start your own vegetable garden, uh, Derek Thomas with Thomas Landscapes is here. Always great to have him here with some great advice on how to get going. Derek, good morning. Good morning. How oh, are you? Doing great. Um, let's start with folks that can maybe start uh, in, in containers, right? Right. Well, and, and the thing about it is we're, all, we're focusing on cool weather vegetables. Okay. And... The great thing about cool weather vegetables is that you can absolutely do them in containers. Mm -hmm. And doing them in containers is going to give you a little bit of flexibility because when the weather heats up, you can actually move them to a more shaded position. Okay. Now, one of the things that I love to do is um, combining so that you've got, you, get, you get a multi-crop. Right here, we've got some rosemary, which you'll be able to harvest mm -hmm. all season long. We've got sage, but we've also added some Vidalia onions. Love and what that. we'll be able to do with that is we'll be able to take out some of them as scallions uh -huh. and leave one or two to mature to a full-size onion. Okay. This sage is a, is a plant that we have wintered over. We were able to harvest sage all winter from it, and now it's ready to go again. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the things that you have to... Uh, keep in mind when you're doing vegetable garden, vegetable gardening in containers is it's a great thing you, you're able to control the organic content. What I like to do is use a soilless mixture. This is completely is soilless. It's, it's actually a peat uh, and compost combination. Wow. It's soilless. It's going to be very lightweight. It's not going to compact really the fluffy. soil. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I like to add to that, this is a moisture component. It's going to expand 10 times its size when you add water to it. Okay. That's going to help on those days when you forget to water. Okay. Make sure when you're vegetable gardening in containers, you do not forget to water. Right. And the other thing that's very important, I call this black gold, this is your compost. Okay, so that is just really wonderful leaf, it's leaf material and composted uh -huh. veggies and everything from the year before. Okay. What we want to do is we want to create combinations that are going to give you the most bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have space limited, I've got four cabbages here. I will harvest out cabbage leaves, and eventually one cabbage I will leave to mature out to a cabbage. Now, I can do this on a patio. Wow. If you've got more space, you can go big. Okay. Go with a big grower's pot, add in as much as you want. We've got blueberries, onions, and lettuce here. Now, so that's going to be, I mean, you're, it's full service, you know. You've got your antioxidants, you've got your lettuce. Now, if you want to do gift giving, I love doing this. This is cilantro, mm -hmm. okay? We're going to add a little bit of lettuce to this. Now, and got, that'll grow. I mean, th this is Oh, just, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to put in, and now you're able to get these. This is garlic clove. You're able to buy this. We're going to plop in a couple of garlic, and... There, there you go. have the That's perfect great. gift for your weekend That's guest. wonderful. Derek, thank you so much. The key is the, the uh, compost. Composted the, uh, the, soil, yep. the moisture components, and making sure that, you know, Everything. put in a blend so mm -hmm. that you've, you've always got some veggies to put got onto it. your table. And keep it watered. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, sir.